Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I believe I should probably share this video with you because some of you may live in these big cities and you you need to know what, what's going on if you don't. Okay, so I'm going to pull this. Um, it's an email from Mike Adams who started Brighteon.com. All right, the title of this is called Lawless Chaos. LAPD tells residents to quote, comply, unquote, with robbers as society collapses in blue cities. Blue. I thought blue was, I always get it mixed up. See, I'm so not into politics. Is the blue the liberal? Red is Republican, supposedly more conservative? I'm not sure. Anyway, it says here, yeah, that's got to be right, because it says blue cities in America run by traitorous Democrats who are desperately trying to destabilize society and bring down America are collapsing into lawlessness and chaos across New York City, Chicago, Seattle, Portland, Boston, St. Louis, Los Angeles, and other blue cities, vehicle break-ins are skyrocketing, muggings are up, and shoplifting is spiraling out of control to such a huge extent that many retailers like Walgreens and CVS are simply shutting down stores in blue cities. So if you have your needed prescriptions, if you haven't been able to get off of them, um, or that's just where you get your baby needs or whatever, you might want to find consider uh, find another source because they may just shut down overnight and be gone when you go, be going to be there the next day or something. I don't know. How do they do that? They Do they give you an advance notice? I know I had a drugstore near me. I had a prescription. I was waiting on it. And I, and I, I forgot to go get it when I had the money. And then when I we would pay all the bills and buy the food, we'd be broke again. <laughs> and I didn't have the money. And I would remember a month later, I'd go to pick it up. Well, they shut down and didn't even bother to call and say, Hey, we're closing. Do you want this prescription? <laughs> It was going to be a new one for me. Okay, moving on. This week in Connecticut, thieves brazenly looted a grocery store in broad daylight, walking out with shopping carts full of grocery products and <laughs> toxic laundry detergent. He showed the video. It looked like Tide. Those great big bottles of Tide. They were orange. Weirdly, he put. Stuffing the products into vehicles with no license plates. Then recklessly driving off at high speed. See video in today's broadcast below. So I could click on that and try to get the link for that. It's not very long. In 2022, we're going to see many square miles of blue cities utterly abandoned by law enforcement. Treasonous Democrat mayors and governors, meanwhile, push unconstitutional gun restrictions in order to make sure residents cannot defend themselves against violent crimes. No police. No Second Amendment, no rule of law, you're on your own. That's his words. So it says, get full details in today's our, a feature article and podcast here. So what I'll do is click on this link and I will include it. I will put this link in the description box. And if you go here, you can, oh, well, they've got a, a Black Friday sale going on, but he did say in this video 
how they're already sold out of their big buckets of food. They sold out in 28 minutes. People really took advantage of this. So, shows how many weren't ready already. Okay, so you can just click on this video, the picture of it, and it'll play. All right, so I'm going to end it here. I'll pull up, the, pull up my little camera and say, all right then, be warned, those of you who are not, for whatever reason, you find yourself left behind, be prepared, do have food stocked up, because when you ref keep refusing the thing you could, should, and need to keep refusing so you can go to heaven, you must rely on the Lord for all you need, but it's smart and it's prudent. To stock up what you can. Think, what do I need the most? Watch that little video and see what those people <laughs> have stolen. I don't think you need a ton of Tide detergent, though. If you if there's no electricity, I guess you could waste a lot of your stored up water on washing clothes. But, I don't know. You, you all have to decide that for yourself, how you want to use your water. Maybe in a river. You could scoop some up, soak it in a, a tub with a little Tide, some kind of liquid detergent. You wouldn't want the pods because that takes a lot of agitation. You wouldn't need as much with a liquid. So that is smarter to take the liquid. <laughs> If you're going to steal something, but don't steal. <laughs> Thou shalt not steal. That's because in the New Testament, it goes against the second commandment. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The storekeeper and the fellow citizens who have the money to pay, you're hurting them. You see? You see how it goes against the second commandment Jesus gave us. All right. With that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. Remember to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, whoever you are, in all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. All right, bye for now. Talk to you later.